mal Tito ausprobiert. Ich hoffe ich einfach mal, dass mein Mikrofon schon an ist. Ja, es ist schon an. Einen wunderbaren guten Tag und herzlich willkommen. Ich muss mal nur mal schnell meine erste Karte rausholen. Hier wieder. So, jetzt aber. Einen wunderbaren guten Tag und herzlich willkommen hier in Berlin. Mein Name ist Hadne Tesla und ich habe die wunderbare Ehre, heute durch diesen Event zu leiten und ähm, freue mich an ihrem über ihr reges Interesse am John Lennon Educational Tour Bus. Und da wir heute ein paar internationale Gäste haben, bitte ich jetzt einfach mal um ihr und auch um euer Verständnis, dass das Programm von jetzt an quasi auf Englisch weitergeht. Aber ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass äh, das Gespräch trotzdem ganz und gar hervorragend nachzuvollziehen sein wird. In diesem Sinne, please let me introduce my guests. I have amazing guests today and they're sitting to my left here. First of all, we have our host today basically. He's been kind enough to let us in his gym, as you can see. Dr. Pfeiffer, who is the headmaster of the John Lennon Gymnasium. Thank you so much for having us. Right next to him is um, someone I really have known for a long time, and I'm really happy about that because I'm a fan in the first place. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, and a producer, and he's really, really successful at all of that. Welcome, Adel Tawil. I'll continue with a person that I've just met, but who seems to be really, really nice. And I'm also happy that he's here. He's the executive director of the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus. Welcome, Brian Rothschild. <laughs> and sitting right next to him, I actually can't believe that you are here. I'm so, so excited to have you. Welcome, Mrs. Yoko Ono Lennon, who is the benefactor of the John Lennon bus. Welcome. <laughs> we'll talk to all these really exciting individuals. And first up, I'll ask, um, you guys know them all really well, I'll ask uh, Dr. Jochen Pfeiffer to join me here on stage the headmaster of you guys. Okay, Dr. Pfeiffer, um, you're the headmaster of the John Lennon Gymnasium, right? Um, so what does it mean to you and your students to have the John Lennon educational bus here in Berlin at your school? It means a lot to us and we are very thankful for this uh, great event. Um, first of all, It was not easy to park the bus in our narrow street. And uh, it took uh, a lot of uh, allowances by the district and many institutions um, to get the thing started. But now we are happy to have the bus here because we, th we believe that the bus and uh, the program of the bus exactly fits our school philosophy in its values. And uh, we are also uh, very happy. It's a long dream to have Yoko Ono to here today as a guest of our school. You're welcome. You've just mentioned the program of the bus. So in your opinion, why is music and video so important for young people, and especially your students? Um, I believe that the arts, music and arts, uh, are basic to human existence. And therefore, uh, those faculties are a cornerstone of our school uh, program. Uh, we have um, many orchestras and a big band and strings orchestra. And we, on the other side, in the video section, we, we have a film festival, a school own film festival every year um, to give the students a chance to present their production to a wider public. And um, this is very successful and I think um, that uh, the arts, besides the classical subjects, math and languages and science, um, are 
in the same range of um, the development of personality. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we support arts, we support music, because without music, life would be very sad. And let me, let me maybe uh, sum it all up with a, with a quick quotation by John Lennon. Uh, and I, I found one which um, uh, precisely uh, puts it in the words what we want. My role in society or any artist's or poet's role is to try and express what we all feel, not to tell people how to feel, not as a preacher, not as a leader, but as a reflection of us all. And uh, I think this is uh, the summary of our philosophy. Thank you so much, Dr. Pfeiffer. Your students already have made use of the bus. We'll take a look at what they have produced uh, a little bit later. Thank okay. you for now. Dr. Pfeiffer. All right. I told you I'll introduce everyone that's sitting on my left, one after the other. So next up, Brian, would you please join me here on stage? Yes, my pleasure. Brian Rothschild. Hello, hello. Brian, so give me a little bit, or give us as a matter of fact, yeah. give us a little bit more information about the John Lennon Educational Bus. Of course. So this is a project that we started 16 years ago now in the United States, and it's been our dream to bring it to the young people of Europe. So after a lot of hard work and effort, we launched in May in Liverpool, and we've been having an extraordinary experience providing these hands-on opportunities to young people. The mission is really giving kids the chance to create, to create music, to create videos, documentaries, and we've even started doing games and game apps. So as technology develops, as culture and art develop, the Lennon bus is developing as well, and this new facility that we built right here in Germany, it was built in Karlsruhe, uh, is an example of really the finest that the industry has to offer and we're hoping to be uh, able to keep it alive and to travel for many, many, many years to come. Yeah. And uh, if I'm not wrong, then you've brought us some footage so we can actually take a look at the work. Yeah, we're gonna see right now just a few short clips of uh, some of the projects that we've created just since May. And I wanna point out, we're gonna, I think we're gonna turn the lights off to show this right now. Whoever's gonna do that could get ready to do that. Um, but um, these are all projects that were actually done in one single day. Wow. So the students, the artists come on board and between usually eight or nine in the morning and five or six in the evening, everything, everything is done. So without any uh, further ado, let's look at the montage exactly. and then we'll talk some more. Don't you see the 
See an example in just a few minutes of the new project that the students here at the John Lennon School created over the last two days. We'll come to that in a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And that is so impressive. I am so impressed, especially considering the time span that you had to, to work on this. Yeah. So um, you've already mentioned that some of the technology in the bus is German, so I, I kind of think that you kind of like to think at least that you have a special connection to Germany of and course. you've um, you've you've been in Europe before so what are the next stops and the most important thing I think that the one thing that everybody in here wants to know are you coming back to Germany well of course we're coming back to Germany we've already been in uh, in Bonn and Hamburg and uh, from here we're going to Paris and then we really wanted to give everybody a little bit of a taste of the Lenin bus and for 2014 we're planning some really, really big things too. All right, so we're really excited about those things. Yeah. For now, thank yes, you so much, of course. Brian. We'll see Can you I mention one course, more thing, which is your uh, wish tree tags uh, that everybody should have on their seats or their packets. Um, we really encourage you to participate in Yoko's wish tree project. There's a wish tree here at the school. Write your wishes down and place them on the tree, and they all get collected and put into the base of the Imagine Peace Tower that you'll hear about a little bit later. Exactly. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Next up is someone who's already taken a look at the work of the um, John Lennon Educational Bus. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, and he's a producer. Please welcome Adele Tawil. Yes. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. Um, just so you know, Ali will answer in German, and then I'll ex I'll translate for everybody that doesn't understand. So, um, first question, Ali, you've been watching um, the videos. You were one of the first ones to actually do so. Yeah. Uh, the videos that the students produced yesterday. So, what did you think about it? What was your first impression, and maybe what was your advice that you, you gave some of them? Also, als erstes muss ich sagen, dass uh, die äh, Schüler, die bei diesem Projekt mitgemacht haben, absolut äh, bezaubernd waren. Es war äh, total lustig, mit denen ähm, vorher noch zu sprechen und äh, zu hören, was sie für Instrumente spielen und wie sie, äh, was, für, wie, was für eine Erfahrung das für sie war in diesem großartigen Bus. Also ich war selber schwer begeistert. Und dann hab, waren wir bei der Premiere dabei. Also ich durfte quasi, sie haben es selber noch nicht gesehen, den, äh, das, das Video. 
Und ich war dann dabei, da waren sie ein bisschen eingeschüchtert und haben so, oh Gott, wir haben es selber noch nicht gesehen. Aber ich konnte sie dann beruhigen, es ist wirklich ein ganz toller Song und ein ganz tolles Video, sehr professionell gemacht, tolle Stimmen, tolle Musiker. Der Gitarrist macht auf jeden Fall eine richtige Welle im Video, es passt wunderbar, genau so muss es sein. Alright, so, first of all, I mean, the first um, thank you goes out to everybody that participated in this project, because I was really, really amazed with not only the talent, but also the, the, the personalities of the students that actually did produce in that bus. And um, he took a look at the work, and it was a premiere, so the students hadn't seen the final project themselves, so it was a premiere of them watching the video together with you, basically. So everybody was super nervous, but there was absolutely no need to be because Ara was highly impressed, not only with the outcome, not only with what he saw and uh, the guitar player, oh, like obviously made an impression on you. <laughs> good performance, good performance. But you were also impressed with, with how well the bus is actually equipped, right? Yeah, amazing. Okay. Also the bus is really a Absoluter Traum. Yeah, so the bus is a dream, that's what he said. For every musician, I guess, and for yeah. every video artist as well. Of course. Great. So, um, what do you think? Why are music and video so important to young people? Uh, you being a musician yourself and your young years not being too far behind, let's put it that way. Um, so, what makes the Jalan and Bus so special? Apart from the fact that it's a really, really well equipped, technically high profile bus. Also ich denke, dass es wichtig ist, ähm, ähm, so einen Bus zu haben, wo man einfach einen Platz hat, wo sich Leute kreativ treffen können und was Neues äh, zustande bringen. Also neuen, sei es jetzt ein Song, ein Video, einfach ein kreativer Ort. Ich habe vor 20 Jahren, da gab es vom Berliner Senat einen kleinen VW Bulli, Hip Hop Mobil hieß es, da habe ich meine ersten Demos gemacht und jetzt, 20 Jahre später, ist es... Äh, so ein absoluter Traum von Bus. Also wenn ich das damals gehabt hätte, ich, ich wäre dann auf die Knie gegangen. Und äh, ich glaube, dass es ein, ein, einfach ein, ein, eine sehr geile Idee ist. Ich bin froh, heute hier dabei sein zu dürfen. Ja, um, yeah, you can clap. <lacht> Feel free to impress your happiness in this room. Uh, no holding back. So, um, Anna is really, really impressed with the bus. And he said that it's really important to have a space where young people can meet and create, to be um, creative, whether it's concerning music or concerning video. It's just really important to have that. 20 years ago when he started doing music, um, there was a little, little, tiny little bus that was probably not half as well equipped as this is um, by um, the Berlin Senate. And that's where he recorded his first demos and look where he got it now. So congratulations on that and thank, thank you. you so much for being here, Adam. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. So now, on to what sort of all been waiting for. It's impossible to mention all of her accomplishment as an artist, as an activist, as a supporter of young talents. We're really honored to have you here. Please welcome on stage, Mrs. Yoko Ono. Because you know, finally, uh, the John Lennon Educational Bus is in Berlin, which is a, a very special city for me. I, I, for some reason, I love this city very much, and I respect what is happening in this city. Um, and so this is one of the things. Before we go through it, I would like to um, uh, give an accolade to uh, Brian Rothschild, who's been working on this every day without sleep. So no, he hasn't slept for about uh, 10 years, I don't know who, how he does it. But um, he has been doing this all by himself in a way. And uh, now, now he brought this thing here. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and I just know, I just know that uh, 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 after Joe's passing, uh, I uh, created strawberry fields in New York City, uh, Imagine Peace Tower in the Iceland, all this, you know, 
the stuff that I wanted to do for John. But this is very, very special. I just know that if John is looking at us, he'd be smiling, jumping up, because this is music, you know. And you guys were born in music. Music was there already when you were born. And then you were grown up, you grew up with, with the music. So that music is part of your breathing. And it's very important that you're breathing music and giving music to the world, covering the music, covering the planet with music, because that's the way we are going to get world peace. You know why? Because we're not going to make doomsday. See, future is what we make. And so we're going to make something that's beautiful and very, very pleasing for all of us. And for uh, people that we know and, uh, and maybe our kids, I don't know. But I mean, the point is, one, it's for us. And then we're going to let the universe know that we're doing this. Uh, and so, you know, we have to understand that this is the time for action. And action is peace. And peace, we're going to think peace, speak peace, spread peace, and imagine peace, and we're going to make world peace. Thank you. <laughs> take a look at the brand new piece. Um, where are you all? These students in, uh, in the front row here started it on Sunday. And I, I have to also say that the Lennon bus would not be the Lennon bus um, without, well, of course, without, uh, you know, it's more than just the greatest mobile studio in the world. It's really something that is, is meant to support and honor the work that John and Yoko did and the, the work that continues today. People come on, wow, this is the coolest thing. It is the coolest thing. But what makes it so cool is the fact that it has a mission and a purpose. Yeah. So that's number one. Yeah. And then the other thing, yeah. And then the other thing that makes it so special are the crew members who live on board the bus. You know, they, they live there. They're the ones who are up until four o'clock in the morning finishing the project, who are setting up the gym for today's project. And it's Pietro Rossi here, who's operating sound. And, and, and Hans Tanner over here, Hans from California. And Alex Martinelli on the video over there. You can't wait to go down anywhere from France. So the three of them live on the bus. They live on the bus, they work on the bus, they spread peace on the bus. So I had to say that. <laughs> so together with those crew members, your students, these students, produced this project. And if you can um, shut the lights again, we're going to premiere the new, the new music and video project. Day one on Sunday, they recorded a brand new song. When they came in, they did not, have, they did not know what they were going to do. They started from nothing. And collectively, they came together and wrote this song. And then on day two, just yesterday, they shot the video. We had a beautiful day here at the school and they shot the video. So without um, any more talking, we're going to see it. And it's called Poor Guy. Poor Guy. Here you go.
So let's talk for them, maybe. So tell me about tell me about your favorite moment of the day, or the two days, as a matter of fact, because you worked on that for two days. Um, favorite moment was maybe right now, the first day actually, but <laughs> it doesn't matter um, because we could see our work. We worked very hard, so and it was a pleasure to see what we've done this weeks, uh, this two days. Uh, and yeah, so it was a pleasure to see it. Good, and it was a pleasure for us to see and hear it. And obviously, you know, people dancing. I'm gonna put it that general. You had people dancing, <laughs> so um, it would be great if if we could ask you back on stage um, to uh, take a picture you know, with our students. That would be amazing. Ryan is gonna escort you up here, I think, yeah. for yeah, yeah. yeah for a picture. So everybody get ready, this is your picture. The music, that will be amazing. With the students. You know, maybe you must, you must be thinking, why was she dancing? He wanted to see the film. But I'll tell you, I don't come here so often, so that you can see the film afterwards again. You know? So I hope you didn't mind that I did. So. The reason why I danced was because I couldn't help it. You see, music 
accept that, you know. When music stops, my body starts to move without my head thinking about it. <laughs> So don't be shy 